We've just gone through the market of uh, Chinatown, at the back of that, and um, we're down by the uh, canal side. Um, we were looking for a place called Tony's, and could we find it? Of course not. Keep up, turned around, came back the other way, and walked straight into it. It's a very unassuming little place. So, you see Saffron, it's next door to Saffron. Here, this little place here. Tony's restaurant, and there's the canal. So, you know, perfect positioning. And just over there is where we came from for Chinatown. So lots of restaurants down here, lots of Indian restaurants, but this is what we're looking for. And uh, there's our food in action. The kitchen smells lovely. Oh yeah. This is where the magic happens. Look at that, it's going to taste amazing, can't wait, so good. Good indeed, look at that smoke, oh yeah. That's what we come for, it's the famous Tony's. And now, some Leo, we need a nice cold drink. So these are the prairies. My wife introduced me to these. I had no idea. In fact, first time we had them was where? Cardiff. Cardiff. <laughs> okay, so. So. Uh, chicken masala. Alagobi. Plain naan. Plain naan. I'll put this here. So what is this? Mutton and oh. spinach. Mutton and spinach is here. Look at that. Fresh tomato sauce. Right, I've got uh, plain naan bread, and my wife's gone for a garlic naan bread, I think. Mm. Well, too, ah, too hot. <laughs> Why should I my fingers? Burn my fingers. Mmm, cold. Mm. I need that beer. Right, I have another curry. Put it on there, put it on there, put it on there. No, because I want to mix it with the masala. It's such a lovely, creamy, spinachy sauce. Mm. Right, so. Oh, it's gonna be a bit of uh, broccoli here. Mmm. Mmm. Right, they're not short on the flavour. This stuff is very flavourful. There's the bread. Uh, coconut. What am I talking about? Potato. Mmm. -hmm. I don't know if I've got my curry in the picture. Probably. Probably nice. It's not on its own, but never mind. It's such a lovely taste. Mm. Oh, the spinach sauce is like velvet. Such a subtle, nice flavour. Pieces of mutton are on the bone, and you do have to sort of get them off. But once you do get them off, they literally fall apart and it just melts in your mouth. The, the homemade tomato sauce, not very rich, not very spicy, but just fresh. Mm. Aligobi, who can resist with a cauliflower and potato? Nice flavour. The puris have been heavenly. My garlic naan is perfection. Um, I never eat rice really with my Indian food. I always have just naan with it. Because I find that the rice fills you up so much you don't get to eat all the curry. And I think at last I'm getting to my husband because he's, he didn't even think about rice with his meal. I need. Right, back to me. Um. I mean, we're in Thailand, and I should be guilty for eating Indian food, and I'm not because we're in we're in India, in Thailand. So you know, they're all fair in love and war. God. So yeah, I don't know. I don't think we'll be having much to eat tonight because this is going to fill me up. It's it's a huge portion for what this is costing us. Hundred ringgit. I mean, my 
That's what I'm the ringer. I think these are like 20 ringer for Nam. Here is our. Tie bat, not ringer. Well, being told off, I'm saying ring it. <laughs> Tie bat, of course. Um, 100 ring it, 100 bat. Anyway, I'll tell you what it will cost at the end, um, including two beers. It's not going to be a lot. It's going to be bloody good value. Mm, God. So, if you're going down Bangkok way and you are in your food, I don't know. Tony's is as good a choice as any, as far as I could tell. This is as good as an Indian food as I've ever had. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's as good as anything I've had. And my wife's loving it, and she's much more an Indian foodie than I am. Mmm. Really good. Oh. I have to go back and sleep after this. <laughs> oh. And, um... Oh, that beer. So the problem with the beer, once it starts getting warm, it loses all that joy. The heat sucks the joy out of my beer. So, but... Mm. Mm. It's a lovely place to sit. You're down by the canal. The canal has been um, upgraded significantly. They've, sort of, they've made all the walls of the canal brick. So now it looks a lot cleaner. The river we're by where, where we're staying is an absolute shit pit. Well, this is looks lovely. And, um, oh. I don't know what makes one Indian restaurant better than another, uh, more powerful than another. The last good Indian meal I had was in Johor at her. I went to visit a friend, which was called Masala Grill. Masala Grill. In Johor Sports and Cultural Centre. That was fabulous. And we went to the, surprisingly, um, chutney and chai, or chai and chutney at the airport. And that was really pretty damn good. All great. Happy times. Now what we get here. 61 years old. We've got this beautiful woman that I don't deserve, but I've luckily managed to keep hold of. Where do you think we're going for Christmas, baby? I think we're going to Ho Chi Minh City. I think we're going to Ho Chi Minh City as well, looking likely. Um, I'll be totally honest, because it's cheapest flights, and um, we like Vietnam a lot. And it's somewhere we haven't been, really. And, yeah, no, I've been to Ho Chi Minh, been to Hanoi, been to um, Da Nang in Hoi An, but we've never been to, Han uh, to Ho Chi Minh, or Saigon as it's known. That's probably going to be our Christmas trip. Uh, in summary, Tony's restaurant in Bangkok, down by the river, uh, down by the canal, in uh, Little India. I don't know if it's dressed on here. I'll show you this place anyway. Amazing food. I am I'm full up. How are you? Really good. Um, so, I think more than I should. If you're down this way and you feel the need for a bit of Indian food, you cannot, cannot go wrong coming to Intertonis. Fabulous quality, fabulous quantity, fabulous value. And cold beer. So that was about 630 baht, which is absolutely bagging. With two beers? With two beers, yes, absolutely, with two beers. Two big beers.